the last Wednesday was wild because um, it wasn't just the librarians who came through. First, it was um, a collective, a collective whose job it is to go into the deepest, darkest areas of distress and heal through love. They, these beings, they're a collective, but they don't stay as one group. They spread out. They spread out to all different dimensions and universes, but they're always connected. They're always connected. And each of them will go into an area of great distress, like imagine a deep pit of purgatory. And they will go in there and they'll look around going, where's the worst? What is the darkest? And they'll go right into the core of it and explode so much love out of them that the whole area returns to how it was before it started going dark. The whole area just returns to love. And yeah, like demons or dark beings or whatever try to fight them, but they have these like light swords, you know, like Archangel Michael. And they, they do these amazing battles. They've taken me with them sometimes to this. It's a terrifying and extraordinary experience to witness it. So they came through last Wednesday and they spoke with us about the importance. And then after that, Jesus came through and then the librarians came through and I was like, <laughs> I was exhausted after that. But when the collective came through, they were very clear. You can only heal with the love that you can hold within you. It is not that you have to love what you are healing. It's that if you are not filled with love, your healing will be ineffective. If you are filled with um, pain or uh, revenge or distress or anger or retribution, you will not be an effective healer. You must be filled with love. You do not have to love what you're healing but you have to love yourself and you have to be willing to send love out. So that was, um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> and um, an important lesson, an important lesson that whenever we connect with anyone or anything that makes us feel less than love, rather than be angry against them, look into ourselves and say, why am I giving this control of myself to someone else that I don't necessarily even appreciate or respect? Why am I giving them control over my love? That they would, that I would allow them to put something below that inside of me. And they were saying, so, we will talk more about that at five o'clock when we do our cord cutting. But for now, 